Hello guys, welcome to the first video tutorial on connecting and using Microsoft Access database with your Visual Basic Windows Form application project. So let's get started. I have uh, this database here and first of all, if you don't even know how to create a database in Access, I have created uh, a playlist for uh, the beginners which you can uh, refer to. So just go to my channel which is programming knowledge and in here go to playlist tab here so click this play playlist tab and you will be able to find microsoft access tutorial for beginners so just click that and you can see some videos here and in here i, ha I have shown you how you can create databases and how you can use databases and how you can query databases so it's a complete package for beginners if you don't even know how to create uh, access database okay so once you know how to create an uh, access database i have already created this database and my database name is employee data okay and i have some um, columns here which are employee id eid first name last name date of birth country phone and pay and i also have some data in this table of my database and which is from employer from employee id 1 to employee id 13 okay so now once you have your database created and you have some data in it you can just go to your visual studio and you can create a new visual basic project so what i'm going to do is i will click this new project and I'm going to make Windows Form application. And in here, I will change the name of my project as Access DB Tutorial. And I will click OK. This will create a project for us. And I think you might uh, know the basics of Visual Basic. This is the solution explorer and this is our toolbox. And what is uh, most important to connect your database with your Visual Studio project is uh, this section called data source. Okay. So if you don't see this uh, section here, you can go to view and go to other windows and you can uh, find this data source from here also. Right. So now just go to this data source and we are going to create a new data source from here. Okay. So I will say new data source. Just click this uh, small icon on the left. And this will open this uh, wizard for you, database wizard. Just select this database here and click next. And once again, click data, data set here. And click next and now you need to create the connection with your access database okay right now I don't have any connection right so for making the connection with your access database you know need to know where your database is in your computer so for example this database which is employee info database is present in my somewhere in my uh, computer and in my access database folder so this is the path to my database file okay so just uh, search for wherever you have created and saved your database the path you must know okay once again i will go to my visual basic uh, wizard here and i will say new connection and we are going to change the connection and we will choose here microsoft access database file okay so select this first option here and click ok and this will open this add connection here and you can now browse to uh, the location where you have your database okay so just copy the path here Go to your project, paste your path here, 
and you will reach to the destination of your database so select your database here and click open and for checking the connection with your database if your uh, connection is uh, successful or not you can click this test connection and if you see this test connection succeed then you are connected to your database now click ok and you will be able to see this employee or whatever your database name dot accdb connection next you will click the next button and you will see this message so read this message carefully the connection you selected uses local database file that is not in the current project so it's saying that the connection you have created with the access database it's not present in your working directory of your project okay so my project for example is located in in somewhere in my visual studio folder and there are there is a folder there called projects and my project is here so where is my project i will search for it and in case you will not find your project you recently created you can just go to go back to your visual studio 2010 or whatever version you have and go to the backup files here because you haven't saved your project till now it will be in your backup file so here you have access db tutorial so this is my database and here right now i don't have anything right which is uh, this so i'm uh, this is uh, this uh, wizard is asking me if this database is present in my project folder or not so this is not present right so i will say yes and if you click yes button visual basic or visual studio will copy your database to your working project so i will click yes or if you don't need to copy this database to your project you can click no and the connection will be fine there will be no difficulty but i will say yes for now and now it will create a connection string which is called employee info connection string i will uh, leave it as default and click next and now you will be able to see the tables here so if you want you can select all the columns you want to show in your or, or you want to use in your project so i will just select this top button or the top check but check a box and it will cl click all the all the check boxes and i will click finish so now i have one data source which is connected to microsoft access database okay now first thing i will do is i will save my project so i will click this button save all and it will give me save project uh, option and all the things are default i will click save and as soon as i click save my project will be saved here okay so now my project is saved I can check it whether it's present in my project folder or not. So once you save, it will go into Visual Basic projects and you can see here access database tutorial project. And once again, when I go inside this folder, you will be able to see this employee info uh, connection uh, or database here in this folder. So that's what I meant by uh, copying your database into your work working project. Okay. Now that's done. Now just go to this data source here. What just and you can just pin it this here so you will be able to see it always. And what you need to do is just click this database name here, which is employee data in my case. And there, when you click this small combo box button here, you will see data grid view and details. So just select details for now. Select this details. So I have selected. There will be no change uh, here. You will be able to see. But 
details is selected right now okay now what you need to do is just select your uh, database and drag and drop into your form okay so what you need to do you just need to select this database and drag and drop into the form okay so i dragged and drop into the form and as soon as you drop this database into your form you will be able to see all these text boxes and labels with the real name of your columns which you have here so i have eid first name last name dot date of birth which is dob country phone and pay you will be able to see all here eid first name last name dob country phone and pay and this visual basic even recognizes uh, that this dob is a date time uh, data type so if you see here this dob is the date of birth right and this when i go to the design view this dob is a date time data type so it recognizes that it's a date time data type and it will give you this date time tool for you okay so i will give you the demonstration for that but let's uh, make our form a little bit bigger you will be able to see these um, connection binding source connection uh, data table adopter and all this, these things here also now for example i want a table in my form and i want to see all, all the data which is in my in my database table access database table right so what i'm going to do is i will uh, go to my toolbox which is this one and i will select data grid view here and as soon as I select my data grid view, let me just resize it so I can see my data. Okay, so I resize it. And once you have resized it, just go to this small little button, triangle button here. And right now there is no data source, so you need to choose data source. Go here, choose data source. And you will be able to see your employee data binding source or whatever name of your uh, database. You will be, be able to see the binding source for that. So my database name is employee data. So I will select this. And as soon as you select this, you will be able to see all the columns from your database in your data grid view or table. You can also select this enable column rendering and just you will be able to see this here now once you have done you have everything you have table you have text boxes to enter the data and you have labels to indicate which data represent what now you can run your data or you run your project and you will be able to see all the data which is present in my database which is from employee id 1 to 13 in here in this table i can even navigate through the uh, this table by clicking this button move next so this will move next 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 like this right and move previous you can even go to the last data and first data by clicking these buttons you can add an employee also or you can add a new data by clicking this plus sign and as soon as you click this button your cursor go, goes to here so right now i have 13 employee i will add the 14th employee 14 and the name is uh, paul for example um, from surname and the date of birth i can choose the date of birth from here so i will select first of all year here is 1980 april for example february country is usa for example phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and pay is for example 40 40 dollar per hour okay and once you have entered your data you can just 
click the save data and you will be able to see your data here right now if you might be wondering if this data you changed is is added here also so let me refresh my data and you will see if you see that your data is not refreshing here then probably you are opening the wrong database so as i have told you your database is uh, your database location was here in whatever wherever you have saved your database but once you have clicked that yes button when i was running the wizard it has copied your database in your project folder right so project access database in here i have bin folder go to bin go to debug and your database is this one right your database is copied to this debug folder of yours so this database is copied to this debug folder so now the working copy of access database is not the original uh, place or original folder at which you have saved your database but your project folder and in that bin and debug folder so this is your database and when i open this database right click and open or open with access microsoft access now you will be able to see your database and all the changes i will say enable okay and i will open this table and you see the 14th employee is added here so just remember here remember this that your database is copied to your working directory of your visual basic project okay once again i want to add a new employee add 15 employee id 15 some name some surname and date of birth for example i will choose country i will choose uk for example phone once again one two three four five six seven eight nine and pay his pay is 38 dollar per hour okay and i will save this button or i will click the save button and my data is added here and once you go to your database once again refresh it and your data you will be able to see in this access database also okay and you can even delete your data by clicking this cross button so in this way you can connect uh, the access database to your visual basic windows form application project now in the next video i will also show you how you can add save previous next buttons because the buttons you have added right now when you double click them so double click this and you will go to the project you will not be able to see what is the code behind all these uh, buttons okay so i will show you how you can write a code manually to copy or to emulate the same functionality of this next previous buttons add data or save data buttons by adding the buttons real buttons here so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now